Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this minimal motion graphics animation in After Effects without using any third party plugin. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so I am in After Effects and we will begin by creating a new composition. So let's call this one main. Width and height will be 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps and duration you can pick whatever you want. Just click on OK. Now we have our composition. So first thing I am going to add a background. So right click new, let's add a solid and it's completely up to you. you can pick whatever color you want but for this one i'm going to like pick this little bit of off white color so just click on ok so here we have our background now we are going to draw a bunch of different shapes so for that i'm going to select this tool so if you click and hold you can see we have a bunch of different ones and i'm going to use the ellipse tools because we are going to draw some circles so make sure that this layer is not selected now you can hold on the shift key and just click and drag and it will create a circle now I'm using this no stroke so stroke is set to zero and for the fill I'm using this little bit of dark color this dark gray sort of color just click on ok so once you're done with this I'm going to quickly select this and let's call this one dot one now I'm going to select this press ctrl d now we have dot two and we can place one over here now let's duplicate this dot three and one over here and let's duplicate it once more for this one i'm using four dots but it's completely up to you. you can use five six whatever you want so once you're done with this we are ready to like link them with the help of a line so for that i'm going to right click let's add a solid and the color does not matter because we are going to apply an effect onto this so let's search for beam so if i click and drag it over here you can see we are able to see a little bit of beam over here so first thing first i'm going to like remove the 3d perspective and the color i'm going to like pick both of these colors to be this one like that now we want this to be like completely full so for that i'm going to like increase its length to like 100 percent like that now softness i am going to like set this to zero or if you want you can have a soft line but for this one let's set this to zero we want a hard line now we basically want this line to like follow these circles or these shapes wherever they are moving so for that we can parent these properties these start and end point to the position of these ones so for that let me quickly show you how to do that so we have this over here and i'm going to select these two layers and let's press p for position now i'm going to select this and you can see we have the starting point so hold on the alt key or option key on mac and it click on the stopwatch and it will give you an area where you can type your expression but instead of typing we can just simply click over here so we can just click and drag and if I move down you can see we can go to this location where we have our dots so I'm going to pick this position of this dot one like that now I'm going to let it go you can see that the position is snapped to this one now we can do the same thing for the next one so hold on the alt key and click on this ending point again pick whip but this time we are going to pick the second dot like that so there you go now you can see that these two dots are connected now if i select dot one and if i move it you can see that these will stay connected perfect now in the same way we are going to create the links between all of the other ones so actually we don't have to like manually do this every time we can just select this layer press ctrl d now we have a duplicate copy of it and on this one we can just simply change the composition name uh, sorry the layer name so we have this dot one dot two now we want this dot two to be connected to this dot three so we have dot two already over here and i'm going to just type here dot three and you can see now these two are connected now again i can select this layer press ctrl d and let's just change this from dot three and let's change this from dot two to dot four so now these two are connected now we have one last left so let's ctrl d and over here instead of dot three we can just connect it to dot one so one is connected to two two is connected to three three to four and four to one now in this way we have connected all of these now i don't want to like select these layers all the time so i can i can select all of these and let's just lock them instead we can just play around with these now now i don't want them to like stay stationary for that we can add an expression so let's press p for position and hold on the alt key and click on the stopwatch now we can type this expression wiggle and i'm going to set this to like 0 0.5 comma 200 just copy it and now hold on the alt key and click on the stopwatch and i'm going to just paste it now instead of 0 0.5 we can set this to 0 0.6 or 0 0.7 it will make it a little bit faster or slower 
so that we have little bit of variation in that let's do the same thing over here so instead of 0.5 we can have 0.6 hold on the alt key and just paste the expression over here as well for this one we can set this to like 0.4 so you can see that we have created this and now if i press play you can see all of these will start moving and this looks perfectly fine now i can add a little bit of more variation by simply pressing s and we can make like a couple of these bigger so i'm i can make this one big little bit this one we can make it a little bit smaller and let's just make it a little bit big and like that so here you can see now you can just align them wherever you want however you like like this perfect so once you're done with this we are ready to like pre-compose everything because we need a bunch of different copies of it now we have to pre-compose them but first we have to like unlock these so let's select all of them and we can right click and let's click on pre-compose and i'm going to call this connect one and make sure it's set to move all attributes to this new composition so just click on ok now we have our first composition so before we continue if you enjoy my work and you want to support me then you can check out my patreon page over there you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so make sure to check it out link for that is in the description now let's continue now i'm going to select this and over here we have the composition the projects panel as well so i'm going to select this and press ctrl d to duplicate it from here that will clearly create the duplicate copy of this which we can edit easily so i can just double click to open this up now over here we can just all we have to do is just simply randomly place them here and there to have a little bit of variation in them again we can select all of them and let's just hide them now we can freely select all of these and just randomly place them here and there like that there you go now we have connect 2 now i can select this press ctrl d let's open it up we have the connect 3 now again let's just move it sub randomly over here and there again it's completely up to however you want let's duplicate this something like that so just create a bunch of different copies you don't have to like do it very precisely just randomly place them here and there so there you go now we have like five copies and we can go back to our main composition so i can just simply import all the other ones over here like that so now we have a bunch of different shapes and if i press play you can see all of these are connected and moving but we don't want them like to have similar kind of motion so we can just move like little bit of them like ahead so they have little bit of variations now all of them will be moving at different pace perfect now we can move them in 3d space as well for that we can select all these layers let's make them 3d now we need a camera so right click new let's add a camera and i'm using this 35 mm just click on ok we need a null object to control it better so right click new let's add a null object and make sure that this is 3d as well now i'm going to parent the camera to the null so that we can control it using the null only perfect now i'm going to arrange these layers in 3d space so for that we can switch this to two view and over here we have this set to like left view you can just set it off from here and we can just simply select these layers like that and i'm going to like select the these layers and just move them like far away in the 3d space like that now from here we can select this layer and just move it somewhere around the 3d space like that and let's select the last one and let's place it over here now we don't want like these to be in straight line so we can like place a couple of these like at the top and let's select this one we can just place it somewhere around here you can make use of these two views to like randomly place these layers here and there perfect so we can select all of these layers and we can duplicate them by pressing ctrl d now you can see we have a bunch of different copies now let's move them to the top and i'm going to quickly change its color to let's say red perfect we can move these layers a little bit ahead and i'm going to press r let's rotate them along the z-axis so that we have a little bit of variations perfect now i'm going to select one of them just like that and let's just place them randomly here and there like this let's select this one we can probably zoom out a little bit more and i can place it a little bit further away and let's move it a little bit down somewhere around here so this is just completely randomly you are placing some layers here and there in 3d space now you can see we have a bunch of different copies in 3d space now we are ready to animate our camera so for that we can select the null object and let's add keyframe for position 
and let's add a keyframe for rotation as well for z rotation now let's select this press u to see the keyframes now let's go to somewhere around five or six and we can like move through these 3d shapes just like that so we are like moving far away across all of these shapes like this and now we can have like little bit of rotation as well so over here we can just add a keyframe or just move this one to this place and in the beginning you can just set this to let's say 180 like that so now as we are moving you can see that it will start rotating as well perfect now you will notice that in the beginning we have a bunch of different shapes but as we move ahead we have a lot of blank areas as well which we can again fix by simply duplicating these layers and just moving them here and there let me just quickly do that so let's select all of these press ctrl d to duplicate them and let's just place it over here again we can change its color so let's change this to purple or orange and let's move a little bit ahead let me just quickly set this to two view and we have all of these layers and I'm going to select all of them at once and just move them in the Z space. There you go. Now we have created this animation and we're ready to like select all of these keyframes and let's press F9 to ease them. Now in the beginning, we can like move it a little bit more far away like that. Just like this. Now we are ready to add some depth of field. So for that, you can select the camera, press A8 twice, or you can just simply open it up from here. Now first enable the depth of field. Now you can select the aperture and let's increase its value. Like that, let's say 200 or something. So everything will be blurred and we can play around with the focus distance, which is over here to keep everything or like some of the elements in focus. So let's just pick a point somewhere around here like that. Now, if you don't want, you can just leave the focus where it is, because once we are moving, you can see that some of these layers will start coming to focus like that. Now you will notice that some of these layers are like very close to each other and they are like pretty much similar. So for that, you can just play around with their timing and their position. Let's place this one over here and we can bring this one like this. Perfect. Now at the end, I want to have my text so for that we can select the text tool and just type whatever you want i'm going to type motion graphics and i'm using the montserrat bold font montserrat black font but it's completely up to you you can use whatever you want let's align it to the center and i'm going to select this and let's make this 3d as well like that but first i'm going to add a little bit of animation to this so there is a preset in this so i'm going to let's search for blur so you can see that we have a bunch of different presets we can have blur by word we can have blur and fade in so i'm going to select the blur and fade in and let's drag it over here so now if i press play you can see that it will like come up like that but we want this to be in 3d space as well so let's set this to 3d and i'm going to like move it ahead so that the text is visible and let's press p and let's just move it like far away very far away so basically we have to like move a little bit ahead in the timeline for this one we can set this to quarter for now let's select this press u so we are basically going to go over here and i can just move it a little bit far away like that now it will become blurry but we can fix that by simply selecting the camera layer press a8 twice now aperture we can have a keyframe for that so somewhere around here we can have like 200 aperture but as soon as we reach reach this point we can set this to zero so it will bring everything in focus let me just set this to 100 so you will see that it will be in out of focus but as soon as we come to rest it will go get into the focus now we can select this press u and we can just play around with its timing something like that so now if i press play you can see we have this animation and at the end we have our very nice text reveal just like that
So this is how you can create these kind of minimal motion graphics animation and the project files for this tutorial is available on Patreon. So if you're supporting me over there, then you can download it from there. And if you're not, then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. So with that being said, my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.